happening today. We got Jason Edwards doing a little challenge to talk about um, a very illustrious career as a Nat Geo persona, also uh, a stills photographer for 20 plus years. So when I asked him to do a little check on his five favorite images, it was a, a mind boggling task for him, but uh, he's, he's ready for the task. So take it away. Thanks, Alfonso. Hi, everyone. I hope you're well. Uh, let's jump into this, shall we? So it is impossible. I've been shooting for decades. I've been with Nat Geo for 20 years to know what I would regard as uh, favourite images. So what I've put here is just a little bit of a mix, a bit of a snapshot of the sort of work that I do. The first frame is camel racing in the Middle East. Now, I wanted to get a different perspective of the scene at the start. So I laid down on the ground with a very wide angle lens and when the start gate opened, the camels literally ran over the top of me. Now, I don't advise you to do this uh, unless you really want to get your camera trashed or your head kicked. But if you're looking for a different perspective, get down low. Low is a really interesting uh, angle that most people will not think about. Now, this young girl here in the Andes uh, at a high altitude lake surrounded by mountains, uh, appeared out of nowhere, probably from a village nearby in one of the valleys. She was curious about what I was doing there, sitting by myself. She came up, sat down, looked at the horizon. You can see this wonderful light hitting her face, which is the sun setting over the cone of a, of a volcano, literally a volcano. And this umbrella is not mine. It's not a prop. She had it with her and it had this reflective surface. And you couldn't ask for more than that. I wasn't doing anything that interested her. So after I took a couple of frames, she literally just stood up and walked away. Um, but for me, it was a real gift. Oh, snakes. So snakes are much harder to find than people sort of indicate. And this brightly colored specimen is hanging over an oxbow lake on the Bolivian border. So an oxbow lake is a lake that's shaped like an, uh, you know, like a bow. So shaped like that. And they're havens for wildlife and very rare. Now, it was a misty, steamy morning, and you can see the condensation on the snake's body. But those dull days are the perfect opportunity for getting detail in feathers and scales and skin. You don't necessarily want it to be bright and sunny. Oh, a female leopard greeting her cub. Now, I pass this tree day after day after day, sometimes multiple times in the day. The female was always hidden or sometimes not there. But as I raced for the airstrip to literally leave that assignment, and I mean, I'm racing, you know, because I'm going to miss my plane and uh, stopped one more time. And this cub comes up out of the grass and greets its mother. I'm sitting there, bang, 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 grabbing a couple of frames. And then it was off and onto my plane and onto the next destination for National Geographic. Uh, literally, that's how it happened. But I'd visited that tree multiple times, uh, not knowing that the cub was in the grass down below. So always be prepared. I use long lenses to do a lot of landscape photography. Now, this has been captured with a very long lens, an 800 millimeter. I use wide angles as well, but always look for details in a scene. And if you've got a long lens, you'll be getting something that most photographers don't get. So this is the fracture zone of a glacier. And I really enjoy the shot. And again, another close up that makes you think about what's in the scene. So this is an elephant eye photographed with a long lens. But what I was trying to do was make the viewer think about the scene, but also think about the animal as a whole and the animal as an ecosystem. So there's, there's organisms living in all of these wrinkles in the moisture, in the mud that's trapped in the elephant's uh, skin. And, and, you know, this just fascinates me. It's the circle of life all the way down to the smallest, smallest creatures that we never see. But, you know, wow, thanks for the challenge, Alfonso. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a quick snapshot of some frames that, uh, that, I, that I do. Well done. Thank you so much. That was amazing. I really appreciate your time to tell us about your adventures and uh, I look forward to seeing you in person someday soon. All the best. Yeah, you too, mate. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much.